Hello friends, welcome to Infinite Laboratory and today I will show you how to connect any controller or any BLDC controller with uh, all the components and how to use all the function of controller. For this controller we have already uh, seen in my previous video. So uh, for this controller if you want to see the connection details you can go to my previous videos. Uh, and. Uh, Today I will show uh, for these controllers uh, so uh, let's uh, go ahead uh, quickly and uh, fastly uh, check how to connect any controller. So first of all you can see so many wires here but the most important wires are for uh, for any bat uh, any controller is uh, battery, motor and accelerator. These are the main wires for uh, using any controller also one is uh, another important wire that is uh, a key switch wire so let's see how to connect any controller any BLDC controller with all the op of all the functions and how to connect it with all the uh, other parts of uh, these uh, electric vehicle so first of all I will uh, show you uh, these three wires here you can see only three wires here uh, one two wires which are red and black and one another wire uh, th thin red two uh, one wire is a thicker one uh, another is thin so uh, these three wires are for uh, battery connection and key switch so these two thick wires will go uh, to the battery but it will get supply from the battery red for the positive and black for the negative this controller can be operatable at 36 volt and 48 volt as well as so uh, this controller can be connected with uh, 36 volt battery or uh, 48 volt battery so uh, I will uh, uh, mention it here 36 or 48 and this controller is capable for 350 watt so I will mention 350 watt here so now it's clear for everyone so 36 volt and uh, 350 watt controller is this so you can connect 36 volt or 48 volt battery with this controller so uh, first important wire is uh, battery uh, that will go here and uh, this uh, link you can see uh, this this is uh, uh, the positive wire link is going uh, from this socket uh, to this uh, thin red wire so that is for key switch wire so here you can see that we have um, created a link uh, and that is uh, going to this socket and th if you connect a key switch with this socket then uh, it will uh, when you will turn on switch this thin red wire will get a uh, power of 36 or 48 whatever you have connected and this controller will be operated some other controllers like this you can see here there is no link connected so uh, you will have to create link by yourself uh, thin red wire and thick red wire and thick black wire will go to battery directly and thin red wire uh, will need to be connected with the key switch between two these two wires you will have to connect key switch because this is the positive supply wire so only you will have to give 48 volt or 36 volt whatever the controller specification as per that you will have to give only positive supply to this if you don't want to use a key switch you can directly uh, connect this two wire together and give positive supply to both together so you don't need to use key switch uh, if you connect it directly but if you want to use key switch you will have to connect key between these two wires so that when you turn on the key, key switch this wire will get positive supply okay so these are the main battery wires and power supply wires then you can see that there are three wires that are uh, bl blue yellow and green here in this controller also you can see that blue uh, yellow and green these three wires are for battery uh, motor phase wires so you will have to connect motor with these three wires and your motor can be hub motor or any motor uh, which is BLDC that motor will have these three wires so you will have to connect the three phase wires to this these wires called phase wires so uh, these are also important wire another important wire which is this one these are hall sensor wires 
this same wires available in this controller also so these are hall sensor wire and uh, this uh, is very important because hall sensor will give command to controller about the positioning of uh, the rotor of motor and uh, motor will get power as per the position so this hall sensor wire is is also important so this this three wires and this five socket spin five wire socket will go to the motor so uh, this is also uh, important wire and one more important wire which is called throttle wire you will have to connect throttle with this wire so that your uh, motor will run as per your throttles direct throttles uh, directions i mean how much you give throttle motor will rotate if you give it uh, 100% motor will run with 100% rpm if you are using throttle with half twisted then motor will run with 50% percent rpm so this same wire you can see here available red black and green this is for throttle here we have female socket here we have male socket so uh, as per your uh, throttle wire uh, requirement you can change this sockets or you can cut this socket and use new socket as per the throttle availability so these are the main important wire for connecting any bldc controller rather than this there are so many wires here but uh, uh, these are not very important uh, but still they are important so uh, for them also i will give some instructions so let's uh, start with this uh, two uh, white colors wire with black socket these are for self running Uh, wires so when you want to test a motor for like hours and hours then you will have to connect these two wires with uh, uh, each other and then your motor will start without using throttle so you can use uh, testing uh, or you can use uh, uh, mo your motor for uh, testing purpose or making diagram or something you want to test you want to uh, research on motor without you know uh, using throttle then you will have to connect this two wire with each other also if you have used uh, another motor which is not uh, which has not come with this controller and if you want to uh, synchronize another motor with uh, this controller then first when you connect with this controller the, and if it does not work properly then you connect these two wires with each other and then give one a throttle then remove these two wires and your motor is ready to go because this needs to be synchronized and this is for that another these three wires are for uh, three speed mode so uh, you can use three speed mode if your uh, controller have function for this uh, three speed mode uh, capability so this controller have function of three speed mode so that you can run your motor with half speed full speed or medium speed so these three wires for that uh here we have uh, a bunch of this uh three and two wires one is red and black another are three other wires these are for anti theft system so if you want to use remote control connection or remote control system then these wires will be connected with each other uh sorry with this wire will be connected with the uh, uh anti theft alarm system that i will show you in my next video how to connect this with anti theft system but currently you just understand that this is for anti theft system how to recognize that this is for anti theft you will always get a uh, uh, black color sleeve connected with these wires and this will be separately connected with uh, uh, five wire and two wire will be red and black and three other wires will be there with this kind of socket then you understand that this is the uh, anti theft system wires you can see in this controller also you have this kind of same wires red and black and other three wires with same kind of socket and have a black color sleeve so you understand that this is for uh, anti theft system always you will find a uh, kind of red or kind of white colors uh, male female socket like this uh, for the anti theft system uh, this wire for cruise control so if you want to use cruise control for your motor then this will be cruise control wire these two wires red uh, black and gray are for brake electric brakes so you can connect this wires with the brakes and another one wire you can see here 
that is for high break you can give 12 volt positive supply to this and you will get high break function now every controller have different functions availability so in this controller you can see that there are so many there are no not that, that much of many wires but still uh, some other wires that i have not shown you so this is for pedal assist sensor uh, you will always see a pedal assist sensor with this kind of black colors connector with red black or, and green or red black and blue this is for pedal assist sensor uh, this is for uh, brake high brake uh, this gray and black for re, uh, low brake uh, another yeah this white wire and this white wire will be connected with each other just like previous controller this is for self learning mode not important but still it is usable and this is for i think reverse function so all controllers will have a uh, different different function but main important functions or main important wires for this co any controller will be uh, this battery key and negative for battery uh, this three wires of motor and hall sensor wires uh, black sorry blue yellow and green and with this five pin socket i uh, i can show you properly here just a minute okay so one two and three this three will go to the motor face and this is for motor hall sensor i will show you motors wire so that you can understand this also these are for self learning this is not important main important wire are battery you can see here red for positive black for negative and little red for key switch you if, if you don't want to use key switch then you can connect this two wires directly with positive this for motor phase motor hall sensor and this for throttle this is very easy and you can connect it with all your motor controller throttle and battery these are the main important things so thank you for watching our video and please let us know for any comments if you have and uh, we will definitely suggest or we will definitely give you support for all your requirement you can drop us uh, an email for your uh, controllers wiring details if you have another kind of controller uh, until we post next video please subscribe our channel so that you can get updates easily and you can get new videos directly to your board thank you so much and keep visiting again and again thank you so much like this video and comment about your reviews